Ladies and gentlemen, Silent Mike, the greatest back workout of all time, the actual GOAT. I know you guys say GOATed, but this is GOATed. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Give us your best Arnold. I'm Arnold. No, I'm Arnold. Terminate. <laughs> shit. Governor Arnold, global warming. Aren't the Arnold presses full of shit? Those are full of shit, Arnold. <laughs> Why we do these? That's not bad, huh? That's pretty good. Starting up with wide grip chins or wide grip pull ups, same shit. Let's get it. Dig deep down and ask yourselves who do you want to be? Easy 12. Easy 12, baby. I'm gonna fly away. I'm talking oh, about figuring out for yourself what in. makes you happy. You hopping in? Like you all locked up. <laughs> all four of them. Be afraid to fail. Fingers going numb. Are you finished, huh? Yep. 20 sets, 20 reps. Just like Arnie. We're on like first name Arnie. basis. I heard after this workout you uh, start to look quite attractive to house cleaners. Yeah. He could, he could be your dad for all we know. <laughs> he could be Eddie and Seabass's dad. So what a fucking banger. <laughs> Wide grip, pull down. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And then you go right into the lift. It's the right thing to do. Success will come, so don't be afraid to fail. What song is that? And how many times have you heard that you can't do this, and you can't do that, and it's never been done before? This one's for Mike. This is what you gotta do when Mikey's in the seat. Cause I'm so tall? So then his feet can go like this. Cause I'm so tall. <laughs> Who's gonna guard me? Who go guard me? You're gonna guard me? <laughs> Who's gonna guard me? You guys better go grab the point guard from Sac State if you plan to even stay in front of me. You're, yeah, it's probably the only one that can stay in front of me. Your Sac State starting point guard is probably the only one that can stay in front of me. I'll get shooting until that day comes. <laughs> Bro, you just got on your cellular phone and started recruiting. You're so scared. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a third, all right? Why do you need a third when we're going 2v2? Bro, you're, you're, you have no clue. Nah, nah, we'll play, we'll play that Bro, I'll, you know Hardwood Palace? Yeah, I know Hardwood Palace. Yeah, they got a pro-am. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And you play at the pro-am? Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm talking? Bro. You're just done, dog. Look at him. Look at him try to cover me. Look at him try to cover me. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at Oh my god. Look at this. Your panties are gonna be on the ground like that. Pants, bro. He's scared. You're scared. Later, little buddy. Later, bench warmer. I think they're used to college kids. I don't know. Well, he literally said, no, we played uh, AAU in high school. Yeah, I don't know. Arnold's a liar. I'll tell right now. Ugh, you a liar. Liar. His muscles are fake too. You a liar. If I were to listen to the naysayers, I would still be in the Austrian Alps yodeling. I would never have come to America. I always listened to myself and said, yes, you can. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. Work your butt off. Oh, fuck me. What?
I don't wanna fuck you. No, fuck me. I always believe leaving no stone unturned. No pain, no gain. Oh man, feels kinda good. Feels kinda good, play it. I feel like if you're trying to optimally load your lats that you don't. Just kidding, don't, don't listen to anything I say ever. I'm wrong about like 90% of the time on everything 50 I do. 50% wrong, 90% of the time. When you're out there partying, washing around, someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. Just remember that. My lower back it gets a little tight. It does hit the lats pretty good though. It feels good, right? I feel my rhomboids. <laughs> rhomboids. If you feel in your rhomboids? <laughs> feeling my rhomboids. I feel it fucking here, like you're supposed to. Good music, dude. It's all for show. As nobody knows, I'm horrible at deadlifts. You know how people say, as, as you all know, like no, nobody knows who I am. So my deadlifts is bad. So hence these are bad. Do you think Arnold also worked out to techno? Yeah, no, they didn't have music. Music wasn't invented in 19. They might have had a live band. <laughs> they had short mustache jazz band. Yeah, live band. That's it. Yeah, that's disrespectful. How was that disrespectful? You think they had speakers? You don't think they invented? <laughs> you think they had lights? Maybe on? a uh, record player. They had a boombox for sure. <laughs> 70s is easy, right? You throw on some fucking, who you know, fucking they're playing like Petty or like Led know, Zeppelin or some shit. There's definitely lifting music in the 70s. I don't know if you can really pump fucking iron to the Beatles, you know? Like pre 60s, that's why we're more jacked in the 70s and 80s than the 50s and 60s. Probably because of the androgen androgenic effects of music. There's a history lesson. Because there's just no way you're deadlifting like 700 pounds to the Beatles. I think you can. To the Beatles? People do it to no music. I mean, you're listening to the Beatles on a boombox well, and you want to sh fucking pump. Music choice is subjective though. No, I know, but I'm just. For, for like energy. For sure. Like, you, like some people listen to jazz when they're PRing. Yeah, his name's Omar Isov, but besides that guy, I'm just saying that there's a reason people were more jacked in the 70s and 80s wearing ripped denim Maybe shorts. Maybe because D-ball was more prevalent. You're always trying to undermine uh, no, it's the Led Zeppelin's power. <laughs> well, there was heavy, heavy. I think it was Led Zeppelin. Steroid use in the Arnold era, but for some reason, they were just bigger because of music, right? Apparently. Arnold, back day. I actually feel pretty pumped, feels good. Uh, obviously tons of volume, tons of variety. The basics, you know, I know things get real complicated on the internet. You are talking about building your back and the angles and exercise selection, but the truth is you need some kind of horizontal stuff, some kind of horizontal, sorry, a vertical pull, a horizontal pull, some a little bit wider grip, some a little more narrow grip, elbows flared, elbows tucked. And beyond that, it doesn't have to get that sciency. Um, for the majority of folks, I think you should learn all these movements, be able to do them uh, properly, efficiently, and then you can start to choose some exercises that you feel target your lats the best, lock those in and hammer those out. Um, Arnold, you know, there's a bunch of different legends and myths and he's put out different programs that look different. A lot of stuff is like antagonist muscles, so you do like a push-pull on the same day, you'd bench press and then you do rows. A lot of stuff is old school bro stuff where he's doing one body part a day. Um, Obviously, you guys know my opinion is typically I think you should get more volume in and you, the best way to do that is higher frequency. Why not spike that protein synthesis, which happens after eating protein, it happens after training. So if I can train back twice a week with more energy, more intensity, and more volume, you're probably gonna be all better off in the long run. But 
fun to try old school stuff, tons to learn from everybody who's had a journey in the weight room. Uh, you know, science is great and eliminates some things that we should probably get rid of, but it also doesn't answer every single question. There's a lot of ways to get jacked, a lot of ways to get strong. So shout out to Arnold. Probably the only dude in fitness I never met. Not the only dude, but you know what I'm saying. Never met Arnie. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment below whose workout you want us to do next, what body part you want to see. We're going to continue down the journey of trying different people's trainings, things you can learn, things you can try. Sell the mic, wheel over me. Be a part of something big in yourself, man. 3SB.co, copy your merch right now. We'll catch you in the next video. New content every single day.